Brief interventions should be personalised and offered in a supportive, non-judgmental manner. Guide the person with information, but don't tell them what to do. The aim is to develop insight to motivate the person to take action for themselves. Clinical experience and research has shown that effective brief interventions share some consistent features. These have been summarised using the acronym FRAMES, which stands for Feedback, Responsibility, Advice, Menu of Options, Empathy and Self-Efficacy. We'll look at what this means with a reference to our case study of Mel. Feedback means providing information that is pertinent to the client in an objective way. Here's the main information that was provided to Mel. Well, Mel, if you look here, you're at moderate risk of these conditions. So we'll just go through them together. Um, hangovers, um, accidents and injury, premature aging, digestive problems such as ulcers or inflammation of the pancreas, uh, indigestion, anxiety and depression, financial and work problems, difficulty mm. remembering things or solving problems. And there are some, some quite severe consequences such as stroke and uh, permanent brain injury. Right. Oh. Um, can you relate to any of these, Mel? People are responsible for their own future actions. This sense of control has been found to be an important part of motivation for change and in decreasing resistance. In providing a brief intervention to Mel, the nurse is explicit that the choice to change is Mel's decision to make. So Mel, for that reason, would you consider cutting back? Or perhaps even stopping your drinking for a while? Uh, I couldn't imagine not drinking at all, but I could certainly consider cutting back. Okay, that's good. Um, Mel, ultimately the, the choice is yours, but there's some information that might help. Um... Clear objective advice delivered in a non-judgmental manner is critical. In our case study, the nurse explores the possibility of Mel reducing her alcohol consumption and providing relevant advice. Are you aware of the low risk drinking guidelines? No. Okay. So the guidelines suggest uh, no more than two standard drinks a day and no more than four standard drinks on any one occasion. And an occasion would be a night out with the girls. Okay. So, Mel, do you understand what a, a standard drink is? No. Okay. Well, Mel, on the wall there, there's a, a poster and a picture of a wine glass, and it's about half full. Effective brief interventions provide a range or menu of alternative strategies. This allows the client to choose the strategies which are most appropriate to their situation and which they feel most helpful. Providing choices reinforces the sense of personal control and responsibility for making change and can help to strengthen the client's motivation for change. Why don't you take that brochure? Yeah, okay. And um, one of the tips is to, when you go out for a night with the girls, to have a plan about what you intend to drink. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe keep count of what you drink and alternating a glass of wine with a glass of water. Is that something that you'd consider? Yeah, certainly. Empathy is conveyed throughout the interview through an accepting, non-judgmental approach. This means trying to understand the client's point of view and avoiding labels such as alcoholic or drug addict. Ask open-ended questions. Listen carefully to the questions asked by the client. Summarise and clarify your understanding of their situation. So if the, if the good things are associated with your time with your friends and socialising, the less good things are actually associated with some of the, the risk factors that we've talked about. Yeah. And, um, yeah, is there anything in particular that concerns you? Self-efficacy is the person's confidence in their ability to make a change. Uh, I couldn't imagine not drinking at all, but I could certainly consider cutting back. People who believe they can make the change are more likely to do so than those who feel powerless or helpless to change their behaviour. It is particularly useful to elicit self-efficacy statements from people as they are more likely to believe what they hear themselves say.